good evening. It's 6 o'clock on Friday, May 13th. Welcome and thank you for joining us tonight for the English edition of Oran News, where we bring you today's top stories <clears throat> translated into English every weeknight. A video scandal showing the mayor of Debra asking for sexual favors from a 20-year-old woman in exchange for a job was made public yesterday evening in our program, The Unexposed. The woman denounced the mayor on RTV Aura News several months ago, and she confessed that the mayor has acted the same way with other employees who are part of his administration. The 20-year-old filmed Shukri Jalili fondling and kissing her in his office, despite her resistance. He later took her to a hotel room in the capital, promising a pay raise. The government fired Jalili on Friday for the serious violations. The Debra prosecution and police launched an investigation on the issue to discover whether the accusations raised by the girl are true. Initially, the police sequestered the scandalous video footage and started verifications. The investigative team questioned the woman who stands by her statement made on Aura News and also seized the employment procedure documentation for the woman. She maintains that the mayor pressured her into sexual favors in exchange for the job position. Later, police questioned Jalili, who states that the video scandal was orchestrated. He declared that he has known the girl for a year and that he hired her three months ago. The former mayor of Debra stands accused for dereliction of duty, attempted sexual harassment, and of passive corruption. Political parties have reacted harshly to the video sex scandal of the former mayor of Debra. The Socialist Party considers the video scandal to be a political scenario, but apologized for the scandal via Debra Socialist MP Manya. The Socialist MP declared that he was saddened by this event and apologized to Debra citizens and the Socialist Party supporters. He added that justice institutions will discover the truth in this case. Democratic Party MP Albana Vokshi condemned the event and asked the prosecution to investigate for further abuses in state offices. Vokshi said that the Democrat Women's League condemns the event and calls on society and especially women to react. She considers the event a demonstration of why women are leaving Albania. The Debra Socialist Movement for Integration MP Spahui, Spahiu, calls on those who proposed Jalili's candidacy to apologize to the citizens for the dishonor. The Minister of Justice condemned the case and declared that such scandals deserve to be punished. The U.S. Ambassador Donald Liu commented on the video scandal of the dismissed Debra mayor, considering the affair to be scandalous. Mr. Liu declared that the mayors should be an example to the citizens, I think that today Shukri Jalili was arrested in Debra for a disgraceful crime. The other mayors of Albania should demonstrate better management and governance of the municipalities they are heading. For this reason, we are happy that we have had the opportunity to cooperate with the Fier City Hall through our program of local governance so that we can improve the service that is offered to the citizens, declared Ambassador Liu during a meeting he held in Fier City Hall. The Association for Local Autonomy condemns the unprecedented act of the former mayor of Debra. The vice chairwoman of the association considers the video scandal to be shocking. The Association of Employment and Protection of Women's Rights says the act destroys the moral values of the society and of those who have been elected to govern. The civil society has reacted harshly to the scandal and raises its concern that this is not a single phenomenon, but is spread throughout the country. The Ad Hoc Commission on Justice Reform gathered today. The majority and Democrat members agreed on technical issues of constitutional court chapter, but have left other political issues unsolved. The formula for selection of constitutional court members still divides the parties, and this issue will be discussed in the future. Today, we reviewed the chapter for the Constitutional Court. The political issues are still unsolved. Today, we agreed that the political issues will be discussed later, declared a Democrat MP. The Socialist member of the Ad Hoc Commission, Maiko, emphasized the importance of time in the adoption of the reform and added that the constitutional package can be adopted 
along with the legal package. Today, we adopted Chapter 2 of the draft, which is related to the Constitutional Court, and tomorrow we will discuss the chapter on courts. We will also pass the package of laws that responds to this process. The most important thing is that today's discussion was calmer than previous ones, said the socialist MP, Maiko. At the same time that the Ad Hoc Commission was discussing the chapter on Constitutional Court, the high-level experts for the justice reform presented the stakeholders with the changes to three laws, namely the Organization of Prosecution, Special Prosecution, and on the National Bureau of Investigation. Parliament Speaker Elir Mehta asked the USA to monitor the justice reform. In a meeting with the U.S. Assistant Attorney General for International Cooperation, Bruce Swartz, the Assembly Speaker confirmed the determination of the political class for the realization of the judicial reform. Justice reform should be monitored in an order to be a success story. This profound reform will serve to increase the professionalism and integrity of the justice system, increase public confidence, and improve the business climate in the country. We are determined to move forward with the reform and the completion of other legal acts as a necessity to effectively fight corruption, organized crime, and the end of the culture of impunity in Albania, said the Assembly Speaker. The senior American official, Bruce Swartz, expressed the particular importance that the U.S. is paying to the adoption of the reform and noted that the Department of Justice and Assistance Missions, OPDAT and ISATAP will continue to contribute and support the strengthening of the agencies of law enforcement in Albania. During the meeting, they discussed the cooperation for the refugee crisis and the need for a better coordination between countries, particularly in the field of exchange of information between intelligence agencies and law enforcement agencies. The Democratic Party submitted a request to the Central Election Commission asking for information about the self-declaration process. In its request, the Democratic Party asked the Central Election Commission for a full list of public officials, including the 140 MPs, the Prime Minister along with other ministers, and of 61 mayors, all who turned in their self-declaration forms by May 4th. The Democratic Party is asking for the publication of all self-declaration forms on the official webpage of the Commission within the 15 days deadline. The Albanian government is preparing several legislative changes which will increase the transparency of exploration and production of hydrocarbon companies. Stakeholders are being consulted about the changes with the aim to give more rights to state companies, especially considering taxes. Up to this point, exploration and production oil companies have been operating with the same tax rate without a time limit by creating losses in the budget. Through the new law, the companies will be entitled to operate with the same taxes only up to 10 years after the start of production. Also, the legal changes set new procedures that increase the guarantee in case of transfer of shares with the aim to stop offshore occurrences. With these changes, the ministry has the right to monitor the sale of a company's shares, especially in cases when they sell the shares to unknown companies. The draft law creates the Scientific Petroleum Institute, formerly known as the Institute of Oil and Gas, which will increase technical and scientific competencies of Albania in the hydrocarbon industry, especially in the activities of hydrocarbon exploration and production. That's all for our English edition this evening. Please join us again Monday through Saturday at 6 p.m. for your local news in English. My name is Mari, and on behalf of Aura News, thank you and good night.